Welcome to another Solid Mastermind top tip for Solid Edge. In this session we'll be looking at some new functionality in Solid Edge ST3 to help us work more effectively with imported data. The scenario we have here is that we've been sent a 3D model and a 2D drawing of a component by one of our suppliers. The problem is that they use a different CAD product, so the files have been translated to a neutral format. We'll start by opening the 3D model. In this case, it's a parasolid file. Once open, we can see that we have just a part copy feature in the Pathfinder. Not a problem in Solid Edge due to the synchronous technology tools we have at our disposal. For now, we'll just save the part. Next, we'll open the 2D drawing. In this case, it's a DWG file. Because these files have been translated, the 2D drawing and 3D model are completely separate. What if we wanted to try and make some modifications to the part, perhaps using the manufacturing dimensions from the 2D drawing? The answer here is the new Create 3D command in ST3. This now has some additional functionality. The dialog is now wizard based. The first stage allows us to either select a blank template or an existing model file. We'll choose the mounting plate we just saved. Then hit Next. Looking at the options we can control the projection angle as well as what dimensions to include with the view. Then we can select the first view and then hit Next. And then the second view and so on. Once we've done we can hit Finish. This process will copy the views and dimensions into sketches within the mounting plate part. The difference we have here now is that it is possible to right click on the sketch and choose the attach PMI command from the context menu. The PMI dimensions will then attach to the model geometry underneath them. We'll repeat the process on the other sketch. Then hide them both and show just the PMI. We can now easily use this PMI information to make whatever changes necessary to the underlying model geometry just as if we'd created it from scratch in Solid Edge. We could also recreate the 2D drawing using this new model. Then we would have a drawing linked to the model. We'll save this for another top tip session though. 